and that our politicians have never felt as out of touch with the people they are supposed to represent. 76% of people in Britain have wanted a ceasefire for months and months and months. Not one senior mainstream politician is prepared to call for an unqualified ceasefire. Even after the ICJ's interim ruling, even after the ICC has called for arrest warrants to be issued, not even after the ICJ's latest ruling, which tells Israel to cease all hostilities in Rafah, or Rishi Sunak, or Keir Starmer, or any of their shadow cabinet, demand an end to the carnage that we are seeing. Probably in our constituency, 85 to 90 percent of people probably support a ceasefire. Probably 65 to 70 percent of people believe there should be an immediate halt to arms sales to Israel. We know our MP is going to do absolutely nothing about that if he gets re-elected and becomes prime minister. So yes, of course we all want the Tories out. They're corrupt, they're inept, they're incompetent. But now the establishment feels there can be a change and nothing will change. But that's not good enough for ordinary people in this country. And I think that's why there has been an upsurge of independence. 